Y'all having a good day? Yeah? There's a lot of love in the halls of Harvest hey guys. Elementary School. How are y'all? Principal Chris Gunnels loves his kids. I lost all my hair. They had to do some surgery on me. Can you believe that? And they love him. Chris was catching up on missed hugs. It had been away since a trip to the ER last November. They thought I had a stroke, so they put, sent me through a CT scan. Came out that I had a large mass. So, you know, from there, they, it was emergency surgery. His tumor was sent to the Mayo Clinic, but the results were inconclusive. Chris and his wife, Kendall, turned to UAB for a second opinion. The team there recommended another surgery. They're like, yeah, there's still a large tumor you know, in your brain. We gotta get it out immediately before it ruptures or something. I'm like, oh my word. So this was a right at Christmas. The diagnosis was not the gift they wanted. The doctor at UAB says, hey, and I also think it's glioblastoma instead of an ependymoma. So, I mean, we were devastated because, you know, we were thinking, oh, we dodged a bullet. Glioblastoma is the most aggressive brain cancer. Right now, there is no cure. Life expectancy is 12 to 15 months. 6% make it five years. So, you know, when we heard that, you know, it's like kicking the gut. Their fight took them to the cancer center at Duke. That's where we are now, you know, just going through their program and fighting every day. Led there by research and faith. That the Lord's just orchestrated our path, and so we're forever grateful. Um, and Duke has been a blessing to us, absolutely. Um, Probably wouldn't be here without Duke. That's right, because we're looking at six months now from our initial, you know, from the very first surgery. And yeah. truly, as big as it was and as aggressive as glioblastoma is, he's, he's truly our little miracle, and we're thankful. Every other month, they go back for another scan. This is our new normal. You know, we're, we're looking at every 60 days. Oh my goodness, please, Lord, don't tell me it's back. Um, and, and we don't live in fear and we don't worry. We do trust um, his plans. Right. But at the same time, we've got two little girls, 10 and 14. We try to be normal and yeah. do all the normal stuff. But in the back of your mind, it's always there. It's a prescription of medicine and prayer. The only thing that gets us through every day. You know, we know the Lord has a plan for, you know, not just me, but our family. And we just have to trust in him, you know, and, and just lean on our faith. Chris did radiation chemo and will now take pills for a year. He's also going to do monthly shots in Germany. They'll take my tumor and my blood. They'll sit down and figure out what, what they need to do to my blood to make my immune system fight that tumor so that if it ever starts growing again, my immune system will kill it. Insurance doesn't cover the cost. The treatment alone is $85,000. That bill. Your church family, your friends, your community, they have flat out loved us has been paid. For your community, for your people, for your church, just to rally together and say, hey, we want to make this possible. They've truly given Chris a second chance at life. The Gunnels are sharing their story to raise awareness. 15,000 people are diagnosed with glioblastoma every year. We're fighting for a lot of people, not just me. That's right. Holding on to hope. Yes, sir. In Harvest, Jerry Hayes, News 19.